Test. Hi, gamers. Hi. <sighs> How's everybody? Hi. Hi. Oh, uh. Room, roomy son. Rummy san thank you for the follow from earlier I saw you thank you thank you thank you thank you man this is making me want to play breath of the wild again I never beat that game 
Hi, everybody. I'm sorry, also, who did I wake- Oh, Gleb, I'm sorry for waking you up. I'm sorry for jump scaring you. <laughs> you can, like, if the bell is on, you can turn it off. Then I won't- You'll never hear from me again. I don't know how to the wild, but I believe in you. Well, what's funny about Breath of the Wild is, um, I got, uh, I beat all the bosses. I just had to beat Ganon, but I just never did it. I was trying to beat a bunch of the, um, the shrines, and I was just trying to explore, and eventually I just got kind of lost, and, and I think I started playing another game. If the bell is off, then I die. Yep. Everybody has the power to kill me. You just have to tur turn the bell off, and then I die instantly. Hi. Oh. Oh. Fine. <laughs> I'm adjusting my camera. I don't know if this will make it worse or not. Hi, 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 hi. So this game is, this is a game. <laughs> this is a game called Umihara Kawasi. And uh, I've, Watched a lot of my friends play this game, but I've never played it before. You saw oh, you saw when on Roblox? Oh, there's a there's a Roblox game we want to play called uh The Troubles. Hold on, I kind of want to link it. I I, I really want to like play this one day. Hi hi ha ha p ha ha p is a really good name. How are you? Oh, hey, Melody Burst. Hold on. How are you? There's like a game I I want to play. Where did I post it? Uh, bu -bu 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 -bu. Was it in here? Yeah, here it is. <laughs> okay, hold on. I want to show this game. It looks really, it looks really funny. Oh, it's behind everything. Hold on. There we go. This is the game I want to play. It's a Roblox game. Uh, you get to play like little little Irish. It it is. It's literally about the troubles. Yeah. You've played that. Is it good? <laughs> There was like one picture. Oh, well, let me see if I could pull up the picture. Yeah, yeah, here it is. Here it is. Um, this picture. Somebody, I think. Uh, I think Mint posted this picture, and uh, I like couldn't stop laughing when I saw this. So I really want to play it. Anyway. Uh, we're not playing that game though today. We're playing Umihara Kwasi. Uh, have any of you played this before? Should I practice or just start? I think, oh. Let's see what the settings are. Oh, can I set the width? Can I increase? Oh. Oh, wait a minute. What is this? Oh, it just squishes it? Also, oh, Gleb, thanks for getting a token. Thanks for getting a capsule. Oh, no, you got a sticker. Oh, you got... 
Oh, you got me. Oh, uh, oh, you got me wasabi. Uh, gamer grub. Thank you. That's not my favorite, but thank you. I I appreciate it. I really like the peanut butter and jelly one. But I still appreciate it. Thank you. I think I'll just start. I'll just start playing. So originally this game was for uh um Super Famicom, I think. And it has like really good physics. Like you you have like a grapple hook and you kind of can like you know, ra it wraps around geometry, which is really impressive. And it also uh has like bouncy physics and stuff. Uh that vision. <laughs> Wait, what was heartbreaking to see? Oh, sad face jam. Oh, my sad face is honestly the most heartbreaking thing to see. <laughs> I'll do it more then. Uh, if I had an unbreakable fishing rod as a means. Also, like, is there any music coming out of this? Hold on. I can, like, hear it. Barely. <laughs> okay, wait, can you guys hear it? It's so... F it's very, 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 very faint. Oh, there we go. Okay. How's that? Yeah, this is really good music. You have to hear the music. All right, hold on. Let me see. If you had an unbreakable fishing rod as a means of transportation, but you weren't allowed to use any other mode of transportation, including carpooling, would you keep it? Um, could I use it also just as a fishing rod? Just in general? I've, having an unbreakable fishing rod seems like it'd be really good. but I don't know. Mm, I don't think so. Oh. All right, I feel like I'm on the first puzzle already. That's my car now. Oh, how do you say your name? Rumisan? Rum Rumisan? Rumisan? Thank- I, I said- I don't know if I saw it earlier. I said thank- I saw that you followed me. Thank you. When you had to- You had it, wouldn't you want to swing around like this little- I don't know if I I don't know if I would because that means I couldn't take any I couldn't take a plane right. That's pretty that would be pretty rough. <laughs> uh, I feel like I'm doing this wrong. Am I doing it wrong? Damn. Hey, Skeleton Club. It's just roomy though? Okay. Or rummy, roomy. There we go. Okay. Do I want to keep the fish, or is that like a good thing? Oh! Rummy's cute. Oh, you can reel in things? Ooh, okay. 
So, yeah, the objective... I don't think there's, like, much of a story, is there? This seems like one of those games that, like, doesn't have a story, but, like, there's a bunch of, like, uh, creepy, like... <laughs> there's, a bu there's a bunch of, like, creepy uh, fan theories about how how she died the whole time. She was dead the whole time. She died. She died the whole time. Hey, Fidget! Assume you're alien man, and you can withstand high altitude so you could survive hanging on a plane. Probably. Oh! Oh, I didn't even think about that. I wouldn't want to do that, though. I don't think. That would be... Imagine if I had to take, like, a really long flight. That I would be hanging off the side of a plane for so long. That would be... That would... That would be awful. I wouldn't be able to, like, watch any fun movies on a plane. Some of the... Oh! Wow! Okay, you can only get hit once. Do I have sticky hands so that you can stick to a plane? Uh... I... If I take, if I take my gloves off, maybe. Oh! Some of the, like, spawning is weird in this game. It's interesting. Like, sometimes it feels like fish will just randomly... Oh, no! This place takes place in the... In the Geo Gaio post-apocalypse. What's the... What's the Gaio po post-apocalypse? Um... That's your game theory. Oh, thank you for the hydrate. Everybody else has to hydrate, too. And if you don't, then you'll get dehydrated, so... Oh. Also, who are the judges for the Summer Games? I know Sterling has one. We all are... All as in, like, the, the entire... Everybody who works in item label, at least in the... At least in the department on in. Oh! Oh! Oh no. Do I have unlimited lives? Or am I gonna like have to start over? Does Emma Mouse judge you? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yep. Emma Mouse is also a judge, of course. Is that a real picture of a bridge in the background? I don't know. The I really like the. From like videos I've seen. Oh! Okay. That was kind of cheap. From background, all the like screenshots I've seen, the backgrounds look really cool. So many cool submissions for the summer games. Yeah, I'm excited for it. We're gonna have a big like uh, we're gonna have a big stream on Friday for it. It's gonna be on YouTube. We're gonna try YouTube streaming because we've been wanting to try it. Oh. Do they like track you? Like how did it, how did it know it was gonna jump over there? Dang. I'd say. Uh... Also, somebody asked earlier uh, if this has good game feel. Who said that? Who said that? Edie. Yes, it does. It it does have good. Uh, it has good game feel. Oh, that's cool. Am I at five lives? Oh no, I'm at four lives now. Do I have to start the whole game over if I die? Like I... Hopefully it doesn't come to that. I'll be able to get to the next level. This this is mostly just me practicing. Oh, how do I reel in? 
How do I reel? Oh. Wait, how do I reel? How do I reel? How do I use my, my thing? <laughs> Activate pro gamer chance. No! I, I'm trying to. Wait, how do I reel my rod in? Do I have to push a secret button? I always... Oh, hey, Squeaver! You have a new stack snack for me? What do you mean? Like, right now? I, I would love one. Do you not a reel your fishing rod if you have one in this game? The physics in this yeah no i i'm the physics is really crazy in this game oh hold on one sec <laughs> why <laughs> at least at least remove the background come on come on i'm not i'm not gonna eat this with a i'm not, I'm not gonna eat this with a white background i'm sorry I can't, I can't do that, it's not good, it's, it's not healthy. Yeah, no, the physics in this are really, I mean, this was for the, the Super Famicom, so, it was like a, oh, oh, wait, 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 wait. oh, I think I did something. Oh! Okay, I think I know what I had to do. I just had to like hold. I just ha I just had to not hold like X or A. I think. Eat food, uh, eat white background food. No, I can't. No way. That's not good for you. I'm like kind of getting the uh, the physics a little bit. Oh, do I like move left and right? That's what it looked like she was doing. Oh, maybe not. Oh, wait. Oh, I figured it out. I figured it out. Okay, 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 okay. I figured it out. Thank you. Wow. Okay, you didn't remove all the background, but I'll I'll take it. Beggars can't be choosers, I guess. Um Even though I'm not really begging. I have a snack right here, but I'll eat it. Let me find it. <laughs> I have a bunch of snacks in here. By here, I mean on my desktop. Uh, here it is. This is the snack that uh, Squeaver sent me. Yummy. Yum, yummy. The ultimate blend. This is for, this is the poker mix. Uh, uh, Utz. Utz poker mix. I imagine this would probably be okay. I kind of like food like this. Like, just dried, like, little snack things. Like, I really like rice crackers. Let's put that, like, right here. Perfect for card night with the boys. When I was younger, I used to play my I some of my friends would always play poker and I always I like was bad. I always lost. Oh Fija, thanks for getting a capsule. 
I'll be eating every ride trip from the trail mix. Oh my god, another sticker? No! Oh, nice. Cute. Okay. <laughs> I'll keep him right there. We haven't gotten this one in a while. Oh yeah, I eat rice crackers all the time. Like, the, the small ones with the peanuts in them. Oh! I got, I got caught slipping. I'm just, I'm just gonna move him down there. Ooh! Wait, who's that? Who's this guy? Oh. Nasu? So, what I, I don't know, like, a lot about this game, but what I do know about this game is that it was developed by a very, very, like, very small studio. Like, it's like, it was like an indie game before indie games were a thing. Oh, look at this giant eggplant. And, uh, there, there have been a lot of iterations. There was a new one for the Nintendo Switch, but I really wanted to play the original. That was a life orb. Oh! I think you might be right. Yay, we did it. I like the little tips in between each screen. To me, this is like the most ideal type of game. Or one of the more ideal types of games where you know exactly what to do. It's just a very simple platformer, no, 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 uh, no crazy, no long cutscenes, just straight to the point. You're just a girl with a backpack and you're catching fish, you're in uh, cool levels. Doesn't need, doesn't feel the need to explain itself. Oh my god, that was rude. That was so close. Hi, Salad. Salad Forest. Salad Forest. Oh, Eggplant is not too. Oh, I see. Oh, that makes sense. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> I'm in the checkers verse. Oh, Becca, thank you for thank you for the the follow. And save my game. How do I save my game? Should I say? Can you actually save it, or is it just auto save? Oh! Oh no! How's it going? Giant pencils represent. Capitalism. I don't know. I don't know about that. I don't know like how to uh, what any of this means. A lot. A lot of these seem pretty abstract. I did watch a video before this because I was kind of. Uh, I knew like a little, like a little bit about this game, but I kind of wanted to like learn more. Oh no. And I found a. Uh, I, I found a um, one video that was like. Uh, how this game is like has a dark history or it has like a dark story and it's actually about a girl who um, who's like dad went her dad went missing and then her uh, her sister died and a bunch of other stuff save the game of your real life <laughs> That would be really cool if, if if people had the ability to quick save in real life. There'd be a well. That would probably be really annoying. Unless if like we all just like 
lived in our own reality and were able to quick save on our own and didn't have to experience other people quick saving because it would just be constantly like going back because if you save that means that you can go back to where you previously started <laughs> whoa yeah yeah she was yeah yeah she was she was dead the whole time she was dead the whole time and her uh well, no, she wasn't. Hold on, wait, hold on. I have to remember. Um, uh, 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 she was dead. The her, no, no, her sister was dead the whole time. But her uh, dad was like, uh, just left. But then she like reunites with her dad. But like, there's, there's something, there's, there's something like freaked up about it. I, I, I watched the video like 20 minutes ago and I already forgot it. Her dad was Albert Einstein. Her dad. Her dad was so guilty about about making the atom bomb with uh with Mr. Oppenheimer that he was like, I'm gonna just make my daughter catch fish. There's a lot of proof of this. Pencils, that's something that that physicists use. Just like Albert Einstein. Albert Einstein used pencils to write down equations. That's not... If you think that's a coincidence, it's not. <laughs> Pretty cringe of him. Oh, 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 no! Oh, no! Oh, this is it. This is it. This this is my last life. If I die, then I'm, I'm totally screwed. How are you doing today? Oh, I'm doing good. I'm, uh... I've mostly just, today was mostly just working and I was like preparing like a little video for and like setting up stuff for for the item with the sports stream on Friday. I think we're going to do it at like it's Friday evening. Oh, but maybe the afternoon would be better. I don't think we've decided on a time yet. Yeah, we're going to be showing off, like, all the best uh, sports games that people made. A lot of them were, like, really good. Like, some people made, like, full video games. Uh, some people made, like, videos. Some people made, like, like, like comics. If you look closely, you can see the fish fishing lines in water. Conclusion, your parents are clearly fish. Oh, this is so cool. This is like a... This is a surprisingly, like, good platformer for the SNES era. Oh... Oh, why are these fish teleporting everywhere? Oh, that's a little protractor. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, no. What is that? Do I have to start all over? Oh. Oh, wow. I really do have to start over. but you can practice. Oh my god, are these all the levels? That's a cute game over. Yeah, that is a cute game over until you realize you have to start at the very beginning. But maybe I'll get so good at this, it'll be okay. To be fair, it was my first time playing this game, so probably did be expected. The music is really good. And also, yeah, now that I know how to reel in, like, the game feels really good, and I'm... I'm really curious how they did the physics for this game, because... The Super and... The Super Famicom, like, it's not a... It's not a very powerful machine.
You're tired today, you can't sleep. Why can't you sleep? If you can't sleep, it might just mean that you're not tired. You're... Or unless if you couldn't sleep last night and now you're tired. If you're ever, um, if you're ever tired, if you're, if you're ever like tired, but you're never sleepy at night and you always stay up late, a really good way of fixing that is to, uh, is to, <laughs> is exercise. The reason is because... What? Oh, no! Okay. When you exercise, you have a lot more energy during the day. And then at night, you... It's much easier to fall asleep. At least that works for me. But I also don't sleep a ton. I don't feel like I ever require a ton of sleep. I usually get, how many? I get like eight, six to eight hours of sleep, roughly. Which I feel like I should get more, but that always usually seems fine for me. This part's really hard. You're you're scared. You're scared. Wait, why are you scared of just not being able to get sleep? Or oh no! This game is very tricky. But I, I really like the, 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 like, the grapple hook mechanic. I mean, I think that the, the physics are just surprisingly, like, really good. Oh! I know some people use melt melatonin which is a chemical that your brain produces to help you go to sleep but you can buy it as a supplement to help you sleep um i've never had i haven't had the need for that yet but i know some people who swear by it How is every how is everybody how's everybody else's sleep? Is everybody getting enough sleep? Please get enough sleep. Sleep is actually very important for you. Uh oh, come on. <laughs> I didn't even realize how big this guy was on the screen. Oh no, can I not move him? Oh, I can. I want to make him like a little bit smaller. Like there? Like maybe I'll have him up here. On top of here. I'll have the snack. I'll have these snacks like this. And I'll have... I don't want the I don't want these snacks anymore. These snacks are gross. Ew. Go away. <laughs> I wake up and drink con cola. Whoa, melatonin gives you bad nightmares? Whoa, really? Like guaranteed gives you bad nightmares? That's really scary. You don't sleep. If you don't need it, you don't need it. But I think most people need it, but sometimes, sometimes people don't. Make him very long and very thin and stretch out across the top of the screen. Uh, okay.
like that. How's that? Is that good? Okay. The stream rocks now because he's because he stretched out that poor boy. You stretched out that small innocent child and now you're happy. That's so messed up. His name is Foot now. <laughs> He's a very like thin pride flag, yeah. Yeah, I see the hat man every time I take melatonin, so I only take it if I need to. Oh my god, I don't even think if I got like nightmares from something, I wouldn't take it. Unless if like it was like I had to. I remember uh I think uh some a medicine uh for or what's it called? Uh what's that disease that people get that's like really bad, like it's super bad? Uh, malaria. Yeah, apparently malaria medicine can give you bad nightmares. There are a lot of diseases, that is true. Thank you for supporting gay rights. You're welcome. Yeah. The more money you give me, the more I'll support gay rights. I'm just kidding. There has to be a streamer out there who's done that. Who like, who said, you know, I'll, I'll support, I'll support gay rights, but only if you give me money. What? What? Oh. The events of Far Cry 2 are just the malaria medicine. Fever dream. Fever nightmare. Yeah. That's a really good game. It's a game that's like... I, I actually replayed Far Cry 2 like a couple years ago. And it's a game that like... it. There are parts of it that hold up a lot that are really good and other parts that really don't hold up. What? Oh my god. Some people get bad nightmares if they eat like sweets before bed. Yeah, I I think I've had that before where if I've eaten like a big meal before bed, then I have weird dreams. Not necessarily nightmares though. I don't know why, uh, I don't know why malaria medicine gives you nightmares. I've never had malaria medicine, but I just like read somewhere that like the side effects is that it gives you nightmares. I love how everyone talks really fast. Yeah, yeah, right, right. Wait, <laughs> that's the one. That's the one really funny thing about Far Cry 2 is like everybody talks like very fast, and I, it, I have a feeling I, there's. It's weird enough that there's like got to be a reason for it. I imagine it's cause like I don't know. Uh. No. Oh. This is- this part's hard. <gasps> that was a good tip. I'm glad I didn't skip that. I hated Far Cry 2 when I played it. You did? I played- I played, uh, I played that game when I was, like, little, and... I think, like, for some reason when I was- when I was little, I liked- I really liked weird games that, like, none of my friends liked I don't really have a good explanation why I don't know I loved Metal Gear Solid 2 and everybody I knew hated Metal Gear Solid 2 oh oh oh, oh this game is hard Ant, you take anti- Oh, do ant- Wait, do- Do, like, SSRIs give you nightmares? Like, is that a known side effect of them? Do they, like, mess with your sleep? 
think the reason stuff like food makes you more susceptible to wonders is because it stimulates the brain, which makes you go. Oh, that would make a that would make a lot of sense. Just because your your brain is really weird when you're asleep. Because your your brain is trying to uh, like not be. Uh... Oh no. Your brain is like not is trying to like have kind of have thoughts but not fully because like there's there are like parts of your brain that'll get cut off like your motor your motor not skills like the part of your brain that makes you move is like cut and so but like sometimes it doesn't work fully so uh if you've ever been if, if you've ever, like, suddenly, like, shook, uh, awake while you're in the middle of sleeping. Like, if you ever, like, jolted awake, that's because your brain wasn't able to, like, stop itself from moving. Damn, you tried the Far Cry 6 free weekend last weekend? No. Was it good? Far, Far Cry is a game that... I really like the second one. I thought it did a lot of really cool stuff. But then all the other ones have just kind of... Like, I really liked Far Cry 3 when it came out. Um, But then every all the other Far Cry since then have kind of just been the same exact formula. And I've just had, like, literally no reason to play it. Damn, this game is... This game is cool. It's really hard. Aww. I hope you guys like watching me play these levels. This is a fun game to play. It's kind of, even though it's frustrating, it's kind of soothing. It's a, it's a frustrating platformer that doesn't feel bad when I lose, which is important. There are a lot of platformers that s seem like good physics or, you know, just they just have like really cool mechanics and stuff. But this one, like... Or, sorry, yeah, there are games that'll have good mechanics, but then they'll be really frustrating and I just won't want to play them because I'll just get, like, really upset at them or I'll just, and I'll just, like, not want to play. But this game is... I don't know. I think because it's, like, cute, the music's nice, the art is interesting, the grapple hook feels good to play. This game time travel 15 years later and ripped off indie games in like the 2010s for being a physics platformer. That I mean, you know what? Props. That's imp that would be impressive to do. Uh, I like that the brain it just has a little brain pranks to play on you. I had exploding head syndrome once. I think I had exploding. I don't know if I've had it. I don't know if what I've experienced was exploding head syndrome, but I've had something like it where, like, either there was, like, a loud noise or, like, a really powerful sensation woke me up out of nowhere. I've had sleep paralysis. Uh, I've had... <laughs> My head exploded. No, 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 no. Uh, I, that's just when, like, you're sleeping and you suddenly hear a loud noise. But, like, there's no real loud noise. It's just your head making that noise. It's your brain making that noise. I, like, pretend that everything ripped off indie games in 2010. Every, every single platformer, including Mario, ripped off Braid. That's the true reason why John Blow was so sad in that room. He created a whole genre and he gets no, he gets, uh, minimal credit for it. I've had the loud noise. Autos. I think, I mean, I think it could just happen to, I don't know if it's a specifically PTSD. I think it can happen to like anybody, but I don't know. I don't know much about it. I've had a few, I've had it a few times, but usually when something bad happens, I just go like, oh wow, that was weird. Okay, I'm still alive. And then I just like kind of forget about it. Which probably isn't good to do. Uh, 
Oh, oh, ah, ah, ah. That was so close. Uh, hypno means it occurs during the process of falling asleep or waking up. Yeah, the snail the snails in this game are really cute. Yeah, we were just talking about like if you have problems with sleeping. Um in the past, whenever I've had problems with sleeping on like the only thing that consistently fixed it was exercise. That's it. Like nothing else, anything else I tried. Anything else I tried just like didn't work. Just like m making myself physically tired during the day so that uh, I just, so that I would actually feel tired at night. But I don't know if that would work. That might not work for everybody. Oh, wow. Oh. <laughs> His little thing helped me. Okay, never mind. Okay. This game is this game is so funny. Love you guys. Okay. Thank you. I learned to accept waking up several times during the night as normal for myself. I'm really good at video games, don't you? That's not true. I'm making fun of me. I, it would be really cool to be good at video games, especially as like a streamer. Cause then you would just... I guess that, you know what? That's honestly probably why like a lot of people initially got it, got famous at streaming was just because they were good at video games. Uh, yeah, yeah, the capsule machine should work. Did you, were you able to use it? I know I should probably have like a little notification that says if it's open or not. Whoa! Oh, thank you, Liz. <sighs> that part, that like gap right there is really hard. At Eliguro, you will have good luck for the next 10 minutes. Whoa, good luck in the next 10 minutes. Whoa, 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 whoa. Use it, use it, use it. Do something. Do, do what you've always wanted to do. Do, uh, buy a, buy a, uh, lottery ticket. Uh. Don't waste it watching my stream. Use your good luck for something good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Go, go, uh, I don't know. Buy, enter a contest. But just because you have good luck doesn't mean it's like guaranteed you'll get what you want. That's something you gotta remember. So you might not necessarily win the lottery, but it might increase your luck a little bit. The physics are almost good in this game oh my god i almost want to like start over from the beginning oh wait i can save okay well <laughs> that's good to know i'll save on my next like go through oh hi bug paw how are you Buy Momo, you might get the lucky get picnic. That's true. I don't know what the rare rarity scale for picnic is. Versus uh like silver. Or not silver, versus the, the other rare one. My dice rolls are pretty average. So if I had good luck, it's not the, the dice rolling kind. 
Oh yeah, don't waste it on dice. Don't waste your don't waste your luck on something that isn't useful. Just like random dice rolls by yourself that don't mean anything. Oh, you're testing out. See if it's real. I think I know what to do in this. Okay, I'm just gonna I'm just gonna go dive. <laughs> it's a gambling kind of luck. <laughs> there we go, okay. Every time I've, like, gambled, like, in, when I was in Vegas one time, like, the one time I went to Las Vegas and I gambled, like at a table, I was so scared and I like I just lost money. Good to see someone playing a cute game that's hard as heck. This game Yeah, this this game is hard, but it's also fun. I could see myself just like idly playing this. It's a good it's like a good platformer. And I normally don't, I'm not like a big like platformer person. Like I don't, I don't really, I don't know. I don't, I didn't really like Celeste or, uh, I mean, I guess I did like Braid, but like the platforming part like didn't really matter to me. Like if anything, the platforming kind of wasn't that great in that game. Uh... Super Meat Boy was just like, I, I don't care. That sounds problematic. That's all right. So do you favor de-platforming platformers? Oh, that's your, yeah. <laughs> yeah. No, I don't, not platformers. I, uh. oh no, I panic. What's another, like, cute game that's hard? Or that you guys would consider hard? I think a lot of them would probably fall into the platformer. Category. Sonic Mania? Have I played Sonic Mania? I think I have. But I don't really, I'm gonna be real, I don't really like 2D Sonic. I'm like a, I'm a weird freak. I only, I only like the 3D. Uh, Sonic. Hey, Bee Pasta. Pasta, do you like, uh, do you like, uh, platformers? Also, are you getting enough sleep, Pasta? Please tell me you're getting enough sleep. Sleep is important for you to, uh... To, like... Not- what, what's it called when you, uh... I don't think you, like, you have to really do it anymore, but, like, remember, like, old hard drives? with the spinning discs in them, and you had to, uh... You had to do something to them. You had to, like, consolidate all the data. Defrag. Defrag. Yeah, defragging. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sleep is, like... I remember somebody explained that, like, sleeping is, like, defragging your brain. In that, like... It's just, it processes all of, all the things that you encounter during the day. I think that's like my therapist told me a while ago. You have to sleep to level up. That's true. Please, 
please, please don't defrag my brain. Not yet. I still, I need to uh, organize it better, and then you can. I can't take naps. If I try to take a nap, I feel horrible after. I'll wake if I like take a nap at two. I'll wake up at four, and I'll I'll feel like actually awful if I take a nap. I feel like uh I feel like that feeling of just waking up, but like the entire rest of the day. It's a really like horrible feeling. <gasps> Yay, we did it. Okay, yeah, yeah. Take as much time as you need. I feel sick. Yeah, I, I feel like not sick, but like that. I do. I just feel groggy, and like the grogginess never goes away, no matter what I do after a nap. Whenever I nap in the midday, I wake up and my mouth tastes like metal. It sucks. Sounds like your gums are bleeding. <laughs> I mean, sometimes I've been so tired that I've just taken a nap. Uh, just against my will. Like I didn't, I didn't want a nap, but. Oh. This level in particular is pretty hard. Hold on, I wonder if I can like. Okay. I. There's got to be, like, a way for me to, like... Oh, okay. Why the fuck this small child stuck in fish world? We were wondering that earlier. I think there's, like, a... I think there's a... F there's a fricked up... There's a fricked up, uh... Creepy pasta. Why is there so many fish spawning here? Let me say my sentence. <laughs> I hope one day I can I don't know if I would want to go here I just I just really want this fish hook thing and to just have it forever I don't like that everybody attacks you I would imagine a fish world would be a lot nicer they wouldn't be just attacking you all, the whole time Looked up articles for cute and hard games. Saw Mickey Mania, Drill Dozer, Dynamite Heady, Echo the Dolphin, Rayman. Haven't played any of those games. Uh, Tomba. Tomba sounds really familiar. Contemporary to Mihara. Uh, Clock. Klonoa is pretty easy, but extra levels are super hard. I guess that counts. That's a game I really want to play, too. I, I like a lot of the music from Klonoa. Oh, this level gets really hard. <laughs> I know I've said that like a bunch of times. But there's like a part at the edge where uh, when you have to like jump over the gap and you really don't have much time to think. You just have to go or else uh, one of these little like eel guys gets you. There's tons of hard cute shmup shooters. Yeah, the entire, the entire Toho series. <laughs> Also, sometimes the the collision feels wonky. I'm still. I, just, I think I just gotta get used to it. Of like how close I need to get to people to pick them up. Klonoa is too easy and doesn't feel amazing, but otherwise it's good. Would you say Klonoa is harder than Super Mario 64? Oh, okay, here we go. <gasps> oh!
How do I, how do I get out of this? Oh, oh. Maybe. Oh no, I think I'm gonna, I'm gonna mess this up. <laughs> I'm gonna mess this up. Alright, yep. Have I played any of the show and EP games? No, I haven't. Wait, what's that? Hold on, that sounds really familiar. I want to look that up. So, uh, my my desk is such a mess right now. I guess it's always a mess, but today more more than usual. So. Whoa, wait. This this game looks familiar, but I don't know if I've like I think I've just seen screenshots of this game. What do you do in this game? Oh, is it a is it a shmup? This is one of those games where this like if you look it up, uh Cho Aniki Diddy Kong Racing is super hard. Diddy Kong Racing can get hard. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's a muscle man shmup. <clears throat> the game with the muscle man. There's even a genre called... Cute'em Ups. Wait, wait, what's a cute em up? That's not real. That can't be real. Cute em up. Oh, it is. Oh. Best cute em ups on r slash shmup subreddit. Let's see if I've heard of any of these. Trouble Witches, no Arizonk. No, I haven't heard of any of these. Cotton Rock. Cotton Rock and Roll looks really cute. From the pictures. Hardcore gaming one. Glory for that. Oh. Hardcore gaming one of one. I know about that site. That sounds like such a that's such a funny name for a site. Hardcore Gaming 101. Are you a gamer? Nope. Have I played Twinkle Star Sprites? I haven't. No. Okay. <laughs> I'm gonna try to practice that one specifically. Not this one. I think it's F2. Is it this one? No. Wait, which one is it? F4? No. Wait, which game? Which one was it? I swear it's this one. Is it this one? No. No, yeah, it's not this one. Top 10 gamer games for gamers. Number one, gaming. Number two, gamers. Hardcore Gaming 101's podcast called Top 47,858 Games of All Time. Wait, what? Is that how many games, like, exist? Is it? No, it's not this one. Oh, I bet you it's this one. Yep, yeah, it's this one. How did I get all the way to... Why am I at F10? Maybe I took a detour. 
I went through a door that led me here. This game has a weird progression. Yeah, it seems like it. Oh my god, look! <laughs> they know where I am. Look at him! This is like the smartest AI. I love video games. Same here. This game has weird progression with like the door that warp you way ahead in stages and doors that will send you back. Oh, whoa! Oh, Calitrix! Calitrix T VT, thank you so much for the raid. Welcome everybody. Hi, how are you? Hi, hi, hi. Thanks for thanks for the uh, raid. Shout out to. Oh, thank you, Sales and Club. Were you playing Rune Factory? Wait, what's Rune Factory? Hold on. Oh, I've seen this game. Is it good? This game looks cute. I like the art. But welcome everybody. Thanks for thanks for joining. I'm uh, I'm Jams. I'm a VTuber, <laughs> and I'm playing uh, Umihara Kawasi, a very a, a a very hard platformer that was originally on the Super Famicom. And I'm I'm slowly getting better at it. <laughs> Rune Factory is like Harvest Moon but fantasy. Oh. That's cool. I never I was I never got into Harvest Moon. I was a Animal Crossing kid. Rune Factory rocks. Yeah, oh hey. Ogre, hey, Ogre Battle, friend. For some reason, when I looked over, I don't know why, but I thought you said Rune Factory sucks. And I was about to be like, wow, so mean. Oh, Kaylin, thank you for the follow. Oh. Oh, Bugpa! I don't. Did it? Did it do an alert for you? I don't know if it did. But thank you for the follow. Video games suck. Yeah, I agree. Wait, Brandon. I know you like this game because you have the fish as your picture. This. I really. I haven't played this game before, but it's. Oh. oh. It's like Harvest Moon with dungeon crawling. Oh, that's cool. That kind of sounds like a... Stardew Valley. Because Stardew Valley has dungeon crawling, right? I don't think I got that far. Oh, and T-Bites, thank you for the follow. Welcome, welcome. Thanks, thanks. I hope everybody's having a good day. Oh, Caltrex, yeah, have a good night. Thanks again for the raid. Yeah, please get some get some rest. We were just talking about the importance of sleep and rest and why your brain needs it. Thanks again for the raid. I like the weird low-res grayscale photos in the background. Same! Wait, yeah, the same. Actually, the I really like the I, I really like the the sort of colorful the colorful palettes of the platforms and how they they're uh oh they have like pencils and stuff or just weird like just checkered blocks but yeah the background is like very sort of earth tone like kind of like weird it looks like a real photo i'm pretty sure it probably is
But yeah, I don't- I never got into... I never got into Animal- uh, Harvest Moon. Maybe I should. I used to really like Animal Crossing, but ever since New Horizon, I've kind of... I've been sort of, uh... You know, I never really played much of them after that. Maybe I should try, uh, like, Wild World again. That one was my favorite one. I love a jarring jarring feeling of seeing a realistic photo in a high, highly stylized setting. I agree. I agree, Ghost. Oh, I thought that was a... I thought I would, I would be able to grab onto that platform. Mihara too has a more dreamy feel than the, the background. I feel like more. Uh, check it out if you can. I think I own it. Is the one for Switch any good? I don't. I don't know what it's called. I think it's called like Fresh or something. The way platformer world is laid out makes me think a bit of Mischief Makers. Mischief Makers. I don't know if I played that or not. That sounds super familiar, though. I used to play Harvest Moon on the SNES and Game Boy Advance a bunch, but I found them too annoying to play because of all the busy work. I guess the difference is now is that I have a job. I've worked on a, I've worked on a farm. It sucks. <laughs> yeah, I think what I like about uh, Animal Crossing is that it kind of had this sort of daily progression as well. But oh. Miami Blofeld. Thank you for the follow. Miami Miami Blofeld. I hope I said that right. Thank you. Hope you're having a good day. I like Animal Crossing My Horizon, but sometimes it feels really boring. It's I think I don't know how many people like know like my my, my like strong opinions about that game about New Horizons but uh, I think my biggest problem with New Horizons is that the the thing I really I wanted the game to most do is uh, have the feeling of you being in like a community and New Horizons I think just uh, only progressed the part of Animal Crossing that felt like a dollhouse and that's, for me, like, the least interesting part of that game. Sorry, I'm, I'm doing really badly at this. Uh! Oh, maybe if I, like... Can I, like, swing from down here? Oh, I think if I, like, I could let myself go all the way down and then... <laughs> this is so bad. Oh! <sighs> hey, I'm busy, V. Oh my god. Oh my god. Sorry, I'm like, I'm in, I'm gamer mode right now. Oh, I died. Okay, I can think again. Yeah, the, I think, yeah, the thing that was like the, the most depressing about New Horizon was that What, uh, I guess what I originally liked about the games of, of like, an, like, of Animal Crossing is that you felt like kind of one person in, like, a community, and there were other characters who you had interactions with, and, like, sometimes they would grow over time, and in the early games, they were very simple, and it was kind of clear that, oh, as the games got more advanced, the relationships and things that happened in your little town would get cooler and more dynamic. Like, that seemed like the sort of natural progression of a game like that. But, uh... The game... Like... I th They went into a different direction, I think, for... various reasons. Uh, I don't know. I think a lot of people ended up really liking, you know, decorating your house. That's, and then they ended up making, like, 
Like, that was a big part of New Leaf. And then with Happy Homemaker, that just kind of was the full game. Was that, like, oh, you're just here to decorate houses. And then with the mobile game, like, most, a lot of it revolved around getting, crafting things so that you could build, like, a cool-looking house. Also, Fontaine. Fontaine is dead. Thank you for the follow. I heard Rune Factory came running. Is incredible, absolutely feels. I I know. I should I try Rune Factory or Rune? Yeah, Rune Factory Four. Is that worth getting? Also, somebody said something. Oh yeah, T Byte. This is the wildest game I've seen in a while, and I'm totally here for it. Yeah. So this is a was originally for the Super Famicom, and this is a Steam port. I don't know how long. I think it came out in like 2019. It's a really hard platformer. But it's really fun. The villagers are really mean in the older games, but it felt more lively. Oh, my biggest gripe with Animal Crossing New Horizon is the insane amount of content with next to no multiplayer at all. You can leave your island, donate your museum, place anything, go to islands. Okay, so I have like, I have a, th I have a theory about like what I think happened there, or I think at least just I don't know if this is true, but this is sort of my interpretation of like what I think happened is. So, Animal Crossing New Horizon was obviously building off of the mobile game and Happy Homemaker. Happy Homemaker? I haven't played it. Uh, oh my god. This game is ruthless sometimes. What I think happened is that they started making a, a game with a lot of content just for, you know, for dollhouse stuff. I.e. like you can build your house and you could have like a bunch of decorations in it. They had they added crafting in it, which was part of the mobile game. And obviously like a lot of game, that's a really popular thing to have in a game. Uh, and it, crafting, I think like for Animal Crossing does kind of work because you're already like going around collecting stuff anyway for money. So being able to use it for making objects seems like it, it it actually like makes sense uh but like they keep on adding new villagers and each of the villagers have their own like kind of dynamic have their own personality and there's like different categories of personalities but you still want to make each one kind of unique and that creates a really big problem of if you want to have like all of these characters with each other having uh, I don't know, really interesting relationships. If you want to be able to build interesting relationships or have, like, weird, like, dynamics within the town, uh, that requires, that's, like, that is really hard to design. And it's very easy for something like that to, to not, to, like, not be fun or just not work. And so I think, like, there, that I think, that they were probably aware of that a little bit. And I think their answer to that was multiplayer. Because it would just, it would make the most sense. Because like, if you, there is no better way of having like, you know, relationships in a game than with just other people. So if you and your friends can just have a town together and all the all the weird dynamics of a community just happen between real people. They don't have to like create any code anything. They just have like friends in a place and they can do all the all the community stuff themselves. I think that that was like their intent was was for uh, the multiplayer to be like much bigger a much bigger part of New Horizon. And I my I suspect that because Nintendo's multiplayer tech isn't the best, just in like any of their games. Um, like I know Splatoon has like a lot of issues with online capabilities. So it would, and the fact that Animal Crossing New Horizon shipped with so many issues of like, you know, it takes forever to get to anybody's island. Uh, once you're on the island, there's like a limited amount of space. And there's also like, weird there's probably there was probably a lot of weird like aspects of online they didn't expect like right when the game came out most people just used multiplayer just to get better turnip prices 
and everybody's island turned into like just these weird like <laughs> like I don't know like almost weird like just drug houses where you would go in and there would be like weird security and they'd be like oh like drop your drop your tickets on the floor and then you can get my turnips so it's a uh... sorry I'm like super rambling uh first season I enjoyed it for a diamond, but I can't get, it can get tedious over time. I'm pretty sure this level is not right. Is the one I started really struggling on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, that one, this one's hard. I might go through a different door. I just me and my friends playing New Leaf at like 3 a.m. New Leaf was really fun. I really like New Leaf. I covered my island in money bag trees. <laughs> yeah, that's a... Uh... Oh, I think that that problem of like just sort of tedious playing just for the sake of like getting more money started with New Leaf with the island because I I feel like everybody I knew including myself who got really into New Leaf at a certain point once you unlock the island you just sort of min max that island so you can get the the best beetles and get the most money and then like there were no problem like you you could pay all your bills and like you just had infinite money but then but a ton of your focus went into the most boring part of the game or at least like not the most boring part but just like a part that's like alone isn't that great just catching bugs i mean there's so much more cool stuff to do in that game i think animal crossing horizon suffered from the pandemic game you uh, oh, a little bit, but ultimately failed on its own. <laughs> yeah, coming out during the pandemic probably meant that people were playing it longer than they should have. Because I think a game like Animal Crossing would be best if it's like, if it's a game that literally limits you and just says like, you can, o you can, <laughs> you can only play, uh, like two hours a day. And then after that, like no more, there's, there's nothing else to do on this island. Just like go, go do something else. That's more fun to me. Like, I think that would be ideal because otherwise if you want people to keep on playing you would actually have to put something in the game that you can continuously play forever or not forever but like you know like i think that's why stardew valley has like the the dungeon crawler stuff because it uh it's just like it's something in the game that like you can do outside of the slow daily real-time progression I would say it was a blessing and a curse at the time of release. Yeah. Nintendo needs a new pandemic for the new Animal Crossing. Are they working on a new Animal Crossing? Like at all? Because I know they stopped doing updates for... They stopped doing updates for what's it called? Uh, uh, new Horizon. A while ago. I'm gonna go this way because yeah, there's this little guy I can get. More like pretendo. Oh yeah, yeah. There's a lot of cool stuff in this game. Yeah, that, that big. I really like that big eggplant. Oh, that was close. Crossing team are the same, so they're busy with Splatoon 3. Oh, that makes- I didn't know that they were the same team. That actually- that actually makes a lot of sense. Because one thing- I, I don't know if it was, uh, Skeleton Club in the chat who told me this. Somebody told me this. But that, like, Nintendo teams, like, don't share tech for some crazy reason. Like, they don't share- there's no, like- uh, shared, you know, online, like, a uh, multiplayer tech that every game uses. Yeah, that's, like, that is, like, that is, that's insanity to me. I don't know why you would do that. I don't know why, why you would have T 
team like tech isolated like that. Okay, I, I went a different way so that I could go to an easier level. <laughs> Is that some kind of managerial mandate? I mean, yeah, I think it's just a... Uh, maybe it's just old, a specific, like, old corporate... I don't know why. I Like, I don't know why that would be what the logic is behind that. Like the only, the only other company I know of doing, having like a specific business strategy similar to that is uh, Sears, the department store in America. And they did that because the, the CEO, I forget what year it was, but the, C the CEO of the of Sears at the time was like this very crazy like libertarian guy and he was like we he was like the only way that will be the company will be good is if we encourage uh, competition so all like different part each department within my company are gonna compete against each other and uh, yeah that just resulted in a lot of companies like or a lot of different departments in Sears, like backstabbing each other and lying. And uh, the problem is when when departments of your company are competing, some are gonna win, but like a lot are gonna lose. And it's the same company, so you know. Yeah, if you want, like that is like one of the that is a huge reason why Sears like did so horribly in the last like in the last decade and a half is just because of like that specific policy of like uh uh inner department and inner inner store like competition which just uh encouraged like a lot of really sh uh bad bad like no people not doing teamwork <laughs> And not helping each other and everybody competing and being shitty and not everybody being untrustworthy the person who ran nintendo for a long time before he died was like a super conservative guy i think like back when they did they did playing cards i mean that would yeah that's like i mean one with that was like literally like the 1800s nintendo existed like in the 1800s right has like just a a very very old like company like an old like game company like not a video game company but like a like a, a card company like a game company in that they made like little like card games they sold hannah fuda cards also i don't know if the same team are making splatoon animal crossing there are two internal divisions but they are huge and it's not just two teams who handles the their like online support because i remember splatoon 2 having like issues with their online but i don't think it was like nearly as bad as animal crossing i think it was just like kind of like uh i don't know matchmaking was like not the best or something He was a president and chairman of Nintendo from 1949 to 2002. That's such a long time. Another weird company thing he heard is that Valve. Valve has a weird thing about separating certain teams and projects as far apart as possible. I think... What I've heard about Valve just from video game like developer people is that... Uh, Valve is very clicky, and there's just a lot of, like, cult of personalities within Valve. And, you know, there's just, like, a, a lot of, like, internal politics. But I think they, like, originally started out as a... They want, like, they wanted to make, like, a flat company. Or, like, Gabe Newell wanted to make, like, a flat company. Just a company of, uh... Of just people who are just really good. Which, like, isn't necessarily, like, a bad idea. Because a flat company can be, you know... 
it, it means that like everybody's tech like in theory are valued equally um, but not necessarily in practice that's why at the end of, of every valve game at least all the half-lifes all of the credits are just people's names in alphabetical order without any sort of like specialty attached I remember seeing that and I was like why is that and then I found out it's because like it's a quote-unquote a flat structure and like what that means internally I think it just means that they wanted an office where people could like move around easily and people weren't like really uh restricted to like specific roles if they didn't really if they weren't like super comfortable with it I guess oh shit oh no I ran out of time, and I just, I also died. I was about to run out of time, but I died before I could run out of time. Valve is sitting on so much money that it seems like they can just buy out developers and just pay them to work on projects and never see the light of day. Is that, how much, like, money does Valve, I know it's like, it seems like they would have a ton of money just from Steam. And I'm sure they have a lot. Hey Bones, how are you? We're talking about game companies. What's your favorite game company? No! Valve has a super impressive R&D department, but like they're not consumer savvy at all. The company heads keep talking about uh, brain and face stuff and all people want is quality life updates for TF2. <laughs> I don't. I don't care about TF2. Because I don't play TF2. I know a lot of people who play TF2, but uh, I don't. Anyway. It seems like a lot of people, all my friends who do play TF2 love TF2, though. That seems like a, a, a game that I just missed, and I'm. It's probably for the worst that I'm not part of that uh, community. That Cam Campo Santo game is 99% dead. Oh, yeah, the. Uh, yeah, 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 the, um, what was it called? What was that Campo Santo game? The, uh, where they're in, like, tombs and stuff. The two girls, they're, like, uh, archaeologists. I forget what it was called. My favorite game company's item label. Oh, my God, this game is so ruthless. In the Valley of God, yeah, yeah. Painting more miniatures. In terms of game company, I would say From Software. From Software is a cool company. I, I got to visit their office uh, a long time ago in 2017. Like, right after they finished doing... Uh, it was, like, right after they finished Dark Souls 3, and they were working on just, the, like, the DLC. But, like, a lot of them were on vacation when, when I visited the office. I didn't get the... I didn't get the meet uh, Miyazaki, unfortunately. No! The craziest part of the From Software's office, it was in the in the lobby, there was one big statue of a knight, and but inside the office, it was completely clean. There was like nothing. It was just there was just like a there was one rack of like PlayStation dev kits in in like a corner. Um but the entire office was like completely like just computers and that's it and i mean for like rep for uh if you've never been to like a game company office before like a lot of a lot of game companies love to have uh fucking nerf like nerf guns and posters everywhere of just like bullshit and so uh i i don't know like i've been i've been to the ign office a bunch and uh Man, the IGN office is like a... It looks like a... It looks like Hoarders there. Like the show Hoarders, but for like really cool like video game stuff. Because they get so much from like promo. Promos and stuff. That like a lot of them just have... And also like a lot of people who work at IGN just has like their own collection of like game stuff. So... Oh, hey, JJ. I love Umihara. Yeah, yeah. 
Shun and Sayonara are top notch. Is this one good? Like, I mean, should I should I be should I beat this one before I beat the other ones? I haven't played this series. I've just heard a lot of good things. It's very tough. I'm like talking about a bunch of different things and I'm just playing the same like five levels trying to beat it. The spawning is like is uh very brutal. Hi, right, Pobius. You're back? Uh, not much. Just me struggling. Did software was in a garage for a while. Yeah, that's... I don't know. Yeah, I, I, I feel like they're in, like, Austin now, right? Or, no, I, do they exist? Oh! Does it software exist? Who makes the Doom games? Oh, it's probably just, uh, what's it called? Uh, Bethesda. It's software still exists, but they have none of their employees. Oh, okay. The enemy spawning to hunt you down. Yeah, the enemy spawning is probably, like, the hardest part of this game. It's not even, like, the the platforming. It's just the enemies, like, popping in to, to stream snipe you. You don't have to finish any of the games. You can play whichever. Thank you, thank you, thank you, Bugpaw. Thank you so much for telling me that because I do that kind of regularly. I'll start playing a game. I'll start streaming a game and then I just like don't finish it for a number of reasons. Like I didn't I didn't finish uh, Hypnospace Outlaw and that was because it was a game that was like, it was good, but it was at a certain point I was, it was hard. It was a game that was hard to stream. And I, I was like, oh, these jokes are really funny, but I'm having a... I don't know. I remember you were going to stream Garage, but then it got postponed and never picked back up. Yeah, uh, I think because there's like... I think there is like technically like TOS stuff in Garage. Although I've seen other streamer, other people stream it, but there's definitely like parts that are borderline TOS. But that's also a game where I imagine it would probably be, there's a lot of games that I really like that just aren't fun to stream. I mean, Garage looks really sick. Like I, it looks like a really good game, um, and I, I, I'll play it eventually, but I'll probably- That would seem like it would be a good game to play, like, in the- on Discord. There's some images of robot body parts that might be too suggestive for TOS. Yeah, 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 yeah. Among other things. Meanwhile, this is just like a cute little fishing game. This game is really hard, but I I like the music and I don't know. I'm for some reason I'm not frustrated. I I haven't reached that point yet. I got to be more brazen with your flings. I think that might be. I haven't gotten like the physics down yet. Yeah, the bounciness can be like, oh yeah, you see, like that one, like I I would have, because I let go, I was actually able to grab the ledge. I think that's just what I need to do. Like I get, I like try to swing and then like get scared and I end up just like kind of hanging off the side of like some ledge. Gotta make, yeah, the initial momentum. Yeah, 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 yeah. Um, wait, is, oh yeah, wait, is Valve still trying to, sorry, I'm like trying to, I'm like, look, I feel like there's like a few like conversations I missed. What is owned by Unity now? I think they were considering moving the original parts of, they were originally because of COVID and then back to, and lack of COVID there. Blah, 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 blah. 
I missed like three different conversations. There's one track from Sayonara, I think, that I have in my, uh... Oh, whoa, Sentient! Uh... Sentient... Sim sentient Scimitar and Ox. Thank you for the raid! Welcome, hi! How are you? Welcome, welcome. Have you played this game? What were you playing? Oh, Forza! I've always wanted to play Forza. Forza seems like a really fun game. Or it's like, a, I really like car racing games, but, uh, and I'm always like, I always think it's really cool that like a lot, at least the promo I've seen of Forza is like just trying to make the game as realistic looking as possible. Play the Hot, Ra Hot Wheels DL racing DLC. Oh, is is that good? I, I've seen the Hot Wheels game and it looks really fun. Just play Horizon. They're the they're the more arcadey ones. Forza Motorsports is for people who are horny for cars and make them realistic. Is it like Gran Turismo? Like how close how close is it to Gran Turismo? That's probably the only console sports game I've played. It's not as good as Gran Turismo. Grand, I mean, I really like Gran Turismo just because, like, the... I, I really like the music. The way they spawn enemies, I swear to God, in this game, it's so hard. Uh... There was an RPG series that used to play as... That's spam. Whoa, I've never heard of that. Is it good? Do you like it? It's pretty good. And Horizon 5 is definitely more wacky. Oh! Oh, I wasn't. I was looking at chat and got killed by a slug. That's okay. I'm gonna try to explore the first level and see if there's like anything that I didn't notice the first time I played. If there's like any like door, like extra doors here. <laughs> Fiveza. has point values for stuff like crashing in a cacti and stuff. Also, I don't think I've heard of the game you're playing. What's interesting? Oh, yeah, yeah. I should probably say, yeah, this is called Umihara so Kawasi. This was a... I think it came out originally in 94 and for the Super Famicom. Uh, this is a Steam port. But this was like a... This was a... Uh, uh, an indie game. Like a very early indie game. Like only a few people worked on this with like a very small budget. And it kind of is one of those games that has like a really big cult following. Actually, I don't, wouldn't even really consider it like a cult following. It just has like a lot of people like it because uh, a big reason is that for the era of Super Famicom, it has like crazy physics. Like being able to do like this stuff, like the, the bungee cord stuff on a Famicom is uh, very impressive. I'm sure there's 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 definitely a GDC talk about how they're able to achieve the grapple hook effect on that kind of hardware back then. And also, yeah, it's really it's really it's a really cute game. This is a game that you'd only know about if the in the West if you were a hipster weirdo for a long time, or uh, you have friends that are. Uh, cooler than you and tell you about cool games. 
which is me. The Game Center CX episode this was really good. I think the original designer sent a note to Arena for his playthrough. Oh, that's that's cool. But yeah, now there's like there's been a bunch of games since then. There's a Switch game with like HD graphics. Was a Vita one fun? Oh, nice. Is a Switch game? Is a Switch version not good? That's sad. Oh, that was pretty bad. But yeah, I've been, I've, I've low key been wanting to play a racing game, like a new one. I wish they would make a good, like, Wipeout, a new Wipeout game. Oh, no, he's not down there. That little thing I got. Sayonara Umihara is the best version of Umihara. Should I play that one? Instead of this? <laughs> or do I need, do I need to play this to, uh, to get, to, like, be good? No, play this. Okay. This is a good novelty just to know the history of the game. Okay. Yeah, I mean, that was my original intent, but I know that sometimes sequels to a game can be better than the original, and your people will be like, oh, you should play the new one versus the original one because the original one's like okay or like not that great. Uh, like for me, I always tell people don't bother playing Metal Gear Solid 1. Just play Metal Gear Solid 2. You don't have to play the first one. There's no point. Yeah, just play Metal Gear 2 Solid Snake. Yeah, yeah. Also, that was a joke. I feel like that would make a... That's a... a joke for Metal Gear Solid fans. They would they would get really pissed off and they'd be like, what what? You have to you have to play Metal Gear Solid because it's because you play as a solid snake. In Metal Gear Solid 2 you play as a a, a, a weird a weird little wimp called Raiden and uh, he has long hair he's like a little pretty boy and I hate him. He's so he's so stupid and I just want to play as Solid Snake and because I can't play as Solid Snake I hate Metal Gear Solid 2. It's a horrible game. It makes no sense. All the stuff in it, like about uh, information and uh, whatever, I don't get it. So don't ever say that again. <laughs> I hate feminine men. Yeah, literally, uh... Literally, the, 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 those fans are the, uh, are when Jordan Peterson is like, there are feminine boys. What are, what are we going to do about that? Love playing an angsty twink. Dude, I love Raiden. Raiden is so cool. No. I don't want to play men who aren't super mega masculine. I don't know what what I love about Raiden in Metal Gear Solid 2 is that he's like he is like the perfect antithesis. He's the perfect like opposite of uh, of Solid Snake. He's like during the whole like the whole time during Metal Gear Solid 2, Raiden is just com is just whining. He's just whining the whole game, and he's like he's just like I don't want to be here. I want to get out of here. I don't get any of this, and like nobody tells him anything. And like he ends up like learning things like as he's going, like crucial things he probably should know. Like the reason that he is at when you start the game, when you start Metal Gear Solid 2, it's the most like ridiculous plot of like, oh, terrorists took over this oil facility and they want a bunch of money. But like by the end of the game, it's like absolutely not that like at all. And I know that like Metal Gear Solid 1 has twists, but all the twists in Metal Gear Solid 2 are just like 
are just from Raiden being kept in the dark on everything. And he, like, hates it. And he just doesn't want to be there. Whereas, like, Snake is, like, you know, super macho and has, like, oh, like, I have, I have, uh, <laughs> I have so many reasons to fight. Um, oh my god. I feel like I'm getting worse at this game. Raiden makes Snake way cooler when he shows up any, he shows up anyway. Yeah, like, the thing is, is, like, Raiden does, like, when, when Raiden is in the game, he's, like, like, a lot, like, a big part of his character is just magnifying how cool Snake is, like, from an outside perspective. Because you see Snake do all this crazy stuff. Like, even when you get to, like, towards the end of the game and you're with Snake, uh, like, Snake literally has, like, infinite ammo and is just way more powerful than you. I like snakes when he goes, huh. I love being, I love him being a fanboy for a snake and also make snake as, uh, as this cool dude from a distance. Yeah, like in the game, like he does, like it, it certainly like makes snake look more interesting. I kind of like, I don't know what I always liked about Raiden was that he, to me, he, to me Raiden is a much more realistic person to come out of like uh the military just like a guy who is extremely disillusioned who like is just, like has no reason to fight i'm getting i'm getting so screwed by the collision i'll like i'll knock out one of those fish and then i like can't grab them very funny because by the end literally everything he believes is wrong yeah and i mean that's a that's like perfect for a game like that <gasps> i there are sometimes it's either my my brain gets like worse over time at playing a video game or like sometimes a game will just feel smarter and will be uh be very unfair to me actually this isn't too bad now Raiden is the heather mason of metal gear he's just a blonde that loves to have fun well it's cool like i mean when you see like the way Raiden develops in the series He, like in Metal Gear Solid 4, he's just like a completely broken person. Because he's like following in like Snake's footsteps, but like any, realistically, anybody following in Snake's footsteps, quote unquote, just like will just destroy you. See, like right there, I was trying to pick up that snail and it wouldn't let me. Awful, awful. This game is unfair. Unfair to me. You stood on top of him. But, like, I... I would... I, I tried to stand on the side of him. The line shoots out from your hand. Do I have to line up, like, my hand on the... On the... On top of them? This game is water and is therefore water. Oh, yeah. This this game is, like, a giant water level. That is true. Oh! Oh, okay. It's not, it's not Super Mario, you can't. Yeah, I wish I could jump on their heads. That would be cool. Oh, 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 wait, hold on. Bug paw, thank you, thank you, thank you for that tip. Thank you for the gamer tip. Thank you for the gamer tip. Uh, that actually is like really useful. Metal Gear Solid 4 right and made me feel like a dummy pointing wildly at my screen at the white blood. <laughs> that from Police Knots. Could you, is, you know, I haven't played Police Knots. Is there white blood in Police Knots? I, I was, I thought you were gonna say something else. 
Oh my god, that's so much easier. That that's such a good tip. Thank you, Bug Paw. This looks like it. Hey, vodka. I really I really like the animation you posted in the chat. It was really good. Sorry for, sorry for dying, and also sorry for talking about Metal Gear Solid 2 for so long. I could talk about that game forever. I think Otacon is in relationship is at the very. Least. Uh oh! I wasn't paying attention. At the very least, sussy in a in a gay way. Um... Hmm... I don't know about Snake and Otacon, though. They, they're the most, like, uh... I don't know. I'm trying to think, like, I don't really see that- I, I, I don't really see them like that. I don't really see them having a relationship like that. Like, not because, like... I mean, they don't really- they don't have that kind of chemistry to me. Like, uh... I'm trying to think of, like, other relationships that have that chemistry. In Metal Gear Solid 4, like, uh, Raiden and Vamp? Like, 100%. Absolutely. Uh... There, there's a, yeah, they're like the odd couple. <laughs> they're, they're, they're. Okay. Don't say that to the fans. Don't apply it to characters. Don't want to fuck ever. I don't. Well, I also do. They have like a that secret handshake is pretty fruity though. <laughs> Like, I don't know, they can't be gay, just like not for e I, like I don't really see them being like not for e they seem like just bros. They can be gay friends. Yeah, oh obviously, yeah, yeah, yeah. You can have your wrong opinion. Okay, like uh, a re like a really good example of like a a gay relationship in uh, Metal Gear Solid is uh is Snake and Otacon or not Otacon <laughs> Snake and uh, Ocelot in Metal Gear Solid Three. Uh, like, that's, like, a, a very good example of one. Okay. Everyone in Metal Gear Solid 3. Yeah. There's a lot... Yeah, there's a lot more... There's a lot more horniness in that game than in a lot of the other games. Metal Gear Solid 3 Ocelot is too good for, for this world. Yeah, I agree with that. Ocelot's such a good character in the series. Like even him in like um in, in uh Metal Gear Solid 5. I wish I could still enjoy Metal Gear Solid. Wait, why can't you? I'm in zero and five a lot. 
いやー The BDSM Stalinist villain Who, uh... What's his name? Kuwabara, Kuwabara, what's his name? Why am I forgetting his name? Vulgan. That's it. Saw my Dark Souls in this time. Wouldn't mind doing more series. Oh yeah, Bones. If you haven't played Metal Gear Solid, you should. I, I, I that's like one of my favorite video game series. If not my favorite video game series. Although, I don't know, I really, I, I do really like all the Souls, Born games. I still want to replay Bloodborne on stream, even though I played it not too long ago. That was super unfair. I was just gonna get onto that platform and they spawned a fish right there. Right as I was, as I was about to land. Now, just seeing the Konami logo makes oh, it makes you depressed. I th and seeing most game logos make me depressed. I just don't think about it. If you think Konami is a bad company, a lot of game companies are, are just like bad companies. Most companies are bad companies. I'm not trying to say that in the like, oh, there's no ethical consumption under capitalism. I'm, but like a lot, a lot of companies are just like, are pretty bad. Item labeled bad company. Um, not yet. I don't know. We'll probably be bad eventually. Once we, once you get big enough, you'll. It's very hard to not be bad. When you have a lot of money, and if you have shareholders. When you have shareholders, a lot of things change because uh, you don't really get to make a lot of decisions for the right. A, a lot of decisions you make aren't for like the fans or for like the, the people who are enjoying the thing you're making. All your decisions are for this like anonymous group of people who own stocks of your company and uh, you have a legal obligation to uh, to increase your to increase their profits. So that means like a lot of decisions are kind of out of your hands. Item label is big company in my heart. One day. Maybe. Maybe not. Maybe we are really big, but we pretend like we're not big for uh for reasons. Still appreciate in your content, but I think Square Enix is really yeah, in terms of corporate stuff. I think if well, if, if as soon as we become big, we're we are gonna become evil and we're gonna lean into it. We're not gonna pretend, you know, like we're not evil. I don't know. I feel like we're pretty evil as it is. We could probably get way more evil. I'm a little can become bigger because then I'll have to cancel PP on Twitter. You don't think PP has already been canceled? You don't think people have tried? PP's too big to fail. Exactly, yeah, yeah. Oh! jump up there <laughs> once again i'm asking when item level is going to make a gotcha game i don't know i think we 
I don't know if I can say... There's a lot of things that are like... Oh, there's a lot of things that we've talked about before and are like kind of in plans. Mr. Big Value said he's making a game. Okay. What? I, yeah, whatever Mr. Big Value says is like is true. Chow Garden, but with Wii Wii's. It's Honestly, not a bad idea. That's like something I feel like we've we've definitely talked about before. Something along that vein. Oh yeah, and there's also yeah, Burrito Galaxy, which uh I'm not allowed to say anything about it. This game I don't know if I, if I, I kind of, I kind of don't like the way the enemies spawn, but I also know if like the enemies didn't do that, this game would be too easy. But the, sometimes the spawning feels like very unfair to the point where it's like, oh, there's like no way I could have avoided dying there. The secret code phrase to take. have a secret code phrase that could take us down. I think, like, honestly, the worst part of this game is the spawning. It, it adds a... Sometimes they'll be nice, though, and they'll despawn stuff. And then sometimes it, it'll, it will, like, almost spawn something, but then it chooses not to. Like it's a like it's granting you like a it's being uh showing mercy. Gotta wait for the slug. Okay. Oh no, never mind. There's another slug. Oh, that's awesome. There's like three slugs here, and I'm trying to land on this platform. Okay. <laughs> the, I'm at like the beginning levels too. This is crazy. I have a friend who's really good at platformers, and they like. They're they're really good at plat they they they're very good at like platform design. And they really like this game. And have talked about how good this game is. At least check out Sean and Sayonara. But specifically Sayonara. Yeah, I Here's the fun thing. Uh or the the good thing about this game. I, I, like, don't mind that I'm doing horrible right now. <laughs> if that makes sense. There are some games where if you're doing horrible, it's, like, a grueling process, and it sucks, and you just, like, are, like, oh, my God, you're just frustrated, and then you just keep on playing over and over, and then you hate it, and then eventually stop playing. The best kind of hard games are ones where you can keep on messing up and, like, learning a little bit each time. And it doesn't feel like horrible. Oh, this, yeah, Diddy Kong Racing did that to me, to me, you very recently. Oh. It does suck later after the first boss. Oh, gotcha. <laughs> I remember I really liked Diddy Kong Racing when I played it. I think I mostly just liked it because I had only ever played, like, I had known Mario Kart and then playing Diddy Kong Racing, I was like, oh, this is like Mario Kart, but like, it's different. There's like weirder stuff in this game. And I liked it purely just for that. Okay. 
<laughs> it also doesn't help when I'm like streaming. I'm also looking at chat and like kind of half paying attention. But I really like talking to you guys while I'm playing, so. It makes it makes this a lot more fun, even though I'm doing worse. Another game that's uh that's uh hard but like is a lot of fun is is Dark Souls. For some reason, with that game, I'll be on stuck on a boss for a, an incredible like for like a week. And I'll still have fun replaying it and trying to do it over and over. I think because for, uh... Oh my god. Okay. It's getting harder. This game is getting harder. I'm going crazy. I feel like when I first started playing this, this game, like, wasn't... The spawning wasn't that bad, but now it's just getting, like... It's, it's like learning from the way I'm playing and it's trying to just, it's trying to kill me constantly. But anyway, yeah, Dark Souls is, is, is a good hard game because like no matter how much I played that game, it was always fun. This is what I wanted to do. Oh, okay. I'm so glad that didn't, that didn't kill me. Think of it like Bloodborne, be aggressive, less hesitant. Okay, all right, all right, all right. You're right, I should be doing that. I have one life left. I should be going... Okay. My cat was crying because he didn't know what room I was in. Aww. I, I, that always makes me really like, <laughs> that always makes me really sad when I, I hear, cause cats, I've heard of cats doing that a lot. I never had a cat that did that, but I, I've known friends whose cat would just start crying because they didn't know where they were or they didn't know like where their owner was. I'm going to try to swing all the way over. I think I can do it. I don't know if this water's slowing me down. It might be. Cats will cry outside of a room and when you open the door. They just leave? Oh, okay. <laughs> We're making slow progress in this game. We always have to start at the beginning. Having the start at the beginning is pretty rough. But the music is so good, I, I don't mind. But at least now I'm getting more confident. Somewhat. <laughs> uh, my cat knows what time I'm supposed to be home from work. He cries to my family if I'm late. Aw. That's really cute. My my parents' cats really like me, but it's just because whenever I go over, I always give them like a lot of treats because I know where the treats are in my in the pantry, and I just like always give them treats. I'm just like the. trying to kill you. I know, right? If it spawns somebody, I swear to God. Okay. <sighs> okay. <laughs> uh... Hey, awkward pop song. This, how are you? This game is very hard. 
I just feel the pressure from the game you are never quite safe. Yeah. It's true. Oh, no! So this game is called Umihara Kawasi, and it's a old platformer that was made by a small team. It was originally on the Super Famicom. This is a Steam port. Um, it is a... It has crazy physics. Crazy physics. Cra crazy... The, the craziest physics for a, for a Super Famicom game. This is not the worst game ever. This game actually does feel good to play. Like the, like using the grapple hook is nice. It's just the enemies are tough. I'm not getting angry. I'm not mad. 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 I'm not mad at all. I'm not even mad. I don't care. Why would I be mad at a video game? Thank you so much for the hydrate. Everybody else should hydrate too. I'm not mad. I'm not. I'm not internally just uh, seething and rage and just. Uh, I'm not just like internally like screaming inside my head right now as I'm playing this. Why would you think that? I clipped your gamer fail moment. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Thanks, Liz. Thanks for clipping. Yeah, like that? Like, I'm not even mad. That didn't that that didn't make me mad at all. I'm not like I'm not like mentally like punching holes in the drywall at all. IQ Libra, you know, J. Same as Obama. It's true. I have the same uh, Meyer Briggs as Obama. And I tell that to every single person, every single interviewer, every employer. I tell them I have the same Meyer Briggs as Obama. And I go, Do you like Obama? Then it means you'll like me if you do. people don't repeat I'm not mad uh, I'm not mad like a mantra no when people aren't mad they they want to remind you constantly why they're there that they're not mad they want to tell you about how mad how not mad they are about how they don't want to uh, turn the game off and throw their controller at the wall and uh, run away stay mad hey shindigs shindigs i saw they were playing uh overkill is that game good softly do you like obama that'd be a funny that would be a asmr i'm getting interviewed and i'm just like <laughs> i'm just like Obama? Do you like Obama? Do you know that I have the same Myers-Briggs as Obama? That means that you would like Obama. <laughs> Bean Shark, thank you. <laughs> thank you so much for the follow. Ah! That fish almost got me. My stupid gamer brain. The $20 feels a bit steep, but they're releasing new levels. Oh, and Senti and Simitar Knox, thank you for the follow. Whoa. And thanks for the raid earlier, too. I really appreciate it. Why are you sad about it? Sad about what? Oh, that's okay. You don't have... To, nope. You don't have to follow me if you don't want to, by the way. But I appreciate that you're following. 
uh, you should carry a cardboard cutout of Obama with you everywhere and be like, see this guy? We're pretty much alike. That would be a pretty funny bit to do. To always have a cardboard cutout of Obama with me. Like, that alone would be pretty funny. And I could, like, uh... I could pull him out as a person to, like, agree with me in an argument. Like, if I'm losing an argument, I pull out Obama, and then Obama's like, Oh, Obama agrees with me. Everyone's like, this is really weird that you have a Obama cardboard cutout. You, you should leave the party right now. You're making everybody uncomfortable. And I go, uh, understandable. Have a good day. That Emil knock is a bit worse, Snoop Dogg says they're identical. That's <laughs> that was so funny. We were watching I, late one night. We were watching the Andy Milanaka show on, on the, in the Discord, and I that's when I added everybody and said we we're we we're gonna watch Andy Milanakis. And yeah, there was like one there's one bit where like Snoop Dogg's like, yeah, you and me are both alike. Uh, can you do this interview for me so I can like relax a little bit and not have to worry? And it wasn't just like Andy Milanakis; it was Andy Milanakis doing like a really bad like impression of a pirate. And he had like, ah, he had like a little pirate hat on and a hook. And Snoop Dogg's like, wow, you're just like me. I always carry my sculpture of Green Bee. Bee that brings me luck. Wait, can you post a your sculpture of green beans? Can you post a picture of your sculpture of green beans? Um, did I ever show you that? Did I ever show you that the gas station here that has a cutout? Carbo cut of Obama and Michelle. Wait, oh, Skeleton Club, you know you haven't. And they have a bronze statue of them as well, and they call it Obama Plaza. Wait, that's, oh, I want to go to Obama Plaza. Do, do people here have things that they carry with them all the time? Like little like things for oh hold on, I wanna see this. Here's the cutout. Oh wow, oh wow, that that is it. That's it. <laughs> that that's Obama Plaza. Uh Obama Plaza. Rock Obama Plaza. Let's go. Okay. Oh, is this another picture? Oh yeah, here's another picture. Oh wow. Oh, this you weren't kidding. This is a bronze statue. Oh, and there's a Papa John's. I've never had Papa John's before. Is that you? People are people are constantly saying that this is me. I have to say this is not me. This is this is Obama and Michelle. This is Barack Obama and Michelle Obama. Pop Obama. Where do you post your green bean? Oh, uh, just post it in here. Or in the Discord if you want to. Thank you for thank you for sharing that. And that's in This is in Ireland, right? Is it? Yeah, it is. I can tell by or it's in Europe at least. Let me be clear. This is not me. <laughs> Enhance Obama's face, please. Okay, one sec. Oh, that's as far as I can go. Hold on, let me screen cap this. Um. How do I like show a picture that I screen cap in a browser? Oh, am I just showing a white screen right now? 
There we go. Give me one sec. Give me one sec. Give me one sec. Sorry, 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 sorry. Sorry, 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 sorry. Sorry, 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 sorry. Okay. How's that? Enhance? You want to zoom more in? Hold on. How's that? Is that good? It's not, that's not in the way, is it? All right, I'm. Oh! Oh my God. You saw, oh, hey, welcome back, Shindigs. Um, people wanted me to enhance uh, the Obama picture. I think it might be too big. Is it too big? Don't think about changing it. It's good? Okay. Too small? Okay, hold on one sec. There you go. I zoomed in a tiny bit. Oh, okay. I don't want to leave the Obama picture up forever. I'll do it with one more life. Just takes the view. Yeah, it's a pretty good quality, right? <laughs> okay. Okay, that's it. That's like a... That's like a... <laughs> It'd be funny if I had a redeem that was like, instead of a close-up of my face, it was a close-up of Obama's face. Bye. Everybody say bye. <laughs> Thanks for clipping that. <laughs> Obama. I, I, I really like the, the like, Obama. That should be a, that should be a sound alert. The Obama. It's still funny. I still say that all the time. I walk around the house just going like, Obama. Please. Please scream. Soda? I can't scream. I mean, I can... <sighs> Just yell as loud as I can. <laughs> Soda! Okay, that was it. That's the loudest I can scream. That's probably the loudest I've screamed on stream. Your ears burn? Good. <laughs> thanks, Shindix. Thank you, thank you. Thank you for gifting Obama a sub. I can't believe I didn't know Obama was uh was here. Oh wait, that was oh Obama subbed! Whoa! Oh whoa! I thought that was because Shindig said he was going to give sub me, 
but Obama just subbed. Wow, what a what a small world. Hi Obama. Hi Obama. The FBI is gonna raid me next. They could they could try to raid me, that's fine. Actually, I don't think the FBI is going to raid me because like they would have to deal with the CIA. The CIA raid me constantly because I'm just like I'm like an alumni. I'm like a I'm like a I'm an alumni of their like of their uh detention. Oh I just raid mar lago with 30 viewers. <laughs> wow. Was Trump happy about that? Was he like, thank you for the raid. Thank you for the raid. What were you just playing? <laughs> that was my really bad Trump impression. Hi Raiders, I am playing Umihara Kawasi. It's a very cute game, but the, the spawning is very unfair. Very unfair. I don't like these fish. <laughs> That's so stupid. Can you say hi to Mun Mun? Hey. Hi. Um. Yeah, if, if the Mun Muns, if you're listening, uh, make sure to get all of Fidget's money and, and send it to us, the item level. Just find as much money as you can and just give it to us. I hope Fidget didn't hear that. Oh, you posted your green bean. Oh, where? In the Discord? Oh, there it is. Can I show this? Is there a recording chip in, in your mon -mons? Oh, there is a recording chip in your mon Yeah, there's a recording chip in like everything we make. Where you, when you buy anything, you sign the NDA that says you're okay with us recording anything we want. That's pretty standard for like any any like uh anything you buy anywhere. Can I show the green bean? It does look it does look good. It's a cute little green bean. Oh yeah, I was going to say earlier, but then I I forgot why I got distracted. Um I think it's cool that you carry. I was gonna ask if people carry anything like with them everywhere, like a little like thing. Cause I was gonna say uh, when I was younger, uh, me and friends would always, I, like I had a picture of like my friends of them like as a baby. Like, or them as, like, three or four years old. Just, like, baby pictures. Uh, and me and my friends would always be like, Oh, like, you want to see my friend? Like, this is my friend. And, like, uh, like my friend, like, we all had baby, we all had each other's baby pictures. It was, like, a, it was a funny thing we thought was funny. I was having baby pictures of each other and being like, oh yeah, this is my friend. But we would say like, oh yeah, but this is like a baby picture of my friend. They're they're much they're like my age. But like this is like them as a baby. This is them as a baby. I always carry my Wii as the non-ironically a massive quality of life improvement. Oh, that's good. I'm glad. Carry plant B, you know I keep that thing on me. Oh, you can show the bean? Okay, okay, okay. This is the bean. 
This is the bean. Uh, not this guy. This. This is the bean. This bean. This bean. There it is. Thank you. And I'm assuming that's not like a real bean. That's like a statue of a bean. Oh, okay. I think I think I might know how to do this. What's two? Is that two morsel? Oh, two morsel is the uh, is the uh, 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 the wee wee right? Wait, who's two morsel? Any of my friends that I've mailed something it has a Polaroid of my cat. Oh, that's cute. Oh, I have to be way more aggressive. To clamp you to Walmart and employees said, I love your duck. Kinda looks like a duck a little bit. Baby cake. Be aggressive. You got it. The problem is, is that, like, yeah, none of the landing zones are safe. But you have to land somewhere. Do I not remember? Wait, hold on. That does sound really familiar. What is that? That's not, uh, what's his name? Yeah, Brad Neely, isn't- Okay, yeah, yeah, okay. <laughs> I re I- What's funny is, like, I don't really remember a lot of the- The Baby Cakes animations. I only really remember the Professor Brothers. Even though I think Baby Cares was probably more popular. Uh, put fish car near the sink and remind me. Oh my god. Oh. Wait, when, I, when I'm when i at home, I usually keep either one of my peepers or fish car nearby to remind me of something you have to do. Like, I'll put peepee -pee near the trash bin and remind me. I gotta go take out the trash. Oh, you better buy... If you buy more, then you'll be able to multitask. <laughs> but not really. Okay. My own little order ship day. Wait, Shindex, what'd you get? I love your item label PP. Oh, the I didn't get I I don't know if I got any of the sh the new shirts. I mean, I usually get the new like anything that comes out, but I don't think I don't know if I if I got any of the new shirts. I should probably like in inquire about that or like like get like put an order in because those could run out pretty quickly. I at least want to get a. Uh, yeah, the alien. I really like the alien one. Oh! I was so close. I need to get a fuzz B and larva. Yeah, the so we're gonna be doing in the, like I think it's it's probably gonna be a regular thing. Is that? Uh, there's, there's gonna be shirts. Oh! This is so hard. This is so hard. I feel like I'm getting slightly better, but not by much.
uh, the regular thing that we're gonna do is having, like, exclusive shirts from, like, various artists. Like, new artists. And they're, they're, they're gonna be, like, a, a short run of them. Because, uh... Having cool artists is cool. Also, thanks everybody for watching. I've been playing the same five levels this whole time and not really getting much better. Thanks for being here. Oh, and you got, a, oh, I didn't even see you got a homie shirt too. I really, I do really like the homie shirt. It's a, this is just a really good, like, small design. This game has a vibe, don't worry. It's true. A lot of things have vibes. Want to see a cute pixel of cute morsel? Absolutely. Post in the... Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's hard to predict what the difficulty curve is in a game like this. Yeah, it, what I'm hoping is it's one of those things where once I get past this one, like, area, I'll learn the things I need to know for future levels. Dark Souls is really good at that, where there will be, like, one area in the level, usually it's near the beginning of the game, where it's extremely hard and almost, like, unfair, but once you get past that part, you're set like you can like just do the like it prepares you for the rest of the game um bloodborne has the best one it's the like that big bonfire in the center of the town with and there's like 20 or 30 like it feels like there's like infinite villagers in that area and you get like very quickly overwhelmed but if once you get past that part you kind of you have all the tools you need to keep on going uh, who are your favorite mum muns? I can't remember. Uh, definitely, uh, Youthful and... I think Original. Like, uh, Classic and, uh, Youthful are my favorites. How do I feel about Sincho? Uh, Sincho's, Sincho's good. You'll see. I don't think that there, there's... I don't know how much there is about Sincho. Not a lot of info. Oh! Oh! That sounds like the beginning of Resident Evil 4. Pick up village in Resident Evil 4. Yeah, yeah, yeah! No, no. Yeah, Liz, that, that's exactly... The, the village in Resident Evil 4 is the exact same way. Just a very hard area in the beginning where it's like you can you might get stuck there for a while but once you once you beat it you have all the tools you need to, to face the rest of the game there we go yay uh what was everybody's favorite moment My mom said your VTuber model is cute. Aw! Tell your mom thank you. Thank you. That's very, that's very nice. Ooh, let me see. Aw. Aw, wait, I really like the, the cat in this picture. Whose cat is that? Is that your cat? Whoa. There it is. There we go. Cute. Cute. <laughs> I like... I like these kinds of swings because when you're in it, you feel like trapped.
You want the secret rare mon mon? There, there's very, very few of them, and I have one. Is that the captain's tree? <laughs> it kind of looks like it, huh? Oh! Oh! This part's so hard! So difficult. No, I'm not even mad. I'm just crying. This is like too hard. Sometimes we're just not cut out for taking on field 10. You know what? Like, very true. But the only way to get cut out for something is... Okay. The only way to get cut out for something is to keep on, like, uh... Practicing until, you, until you're cut in out for it. Anybody can be cut out for anything as long as you just practice. Why does everybody keep saying gamer moment? Ooh! That was, that was like cool. That, I'm not even mad, like upset about that. You, <laughs> I'm just saying it. This should, they should have hired a UX designer for this game. Let me explain. <laughs> Wait, what's wrong with the UX? You don't like that the, <laughs> You, you wait you don't like that the um that the health bar is like right here like and the points are right here you don't like that it, that these things are like in the the middle third of the screen where your eyes are going to be gamer moments when you do something epic or you fail oh, okay hey flinch yeah no this game is really cute This is a very hard game, and the only reason I'm like not mad is because it's it's a it, this game is adorable. Okay, this is a good place to be. I think if I can just like get over there. Oh, the physics. Oh, okay. That's fine. That's fine. That's not even a big deal. Hydrate. Thank you. Thank you for the hydrate. Oh. Okay. No, no, <laughs> why is there three of them on there? Okay. Oh! oh, 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 no. Oh no, I can't. Oh wait, there's a ladder right there? Wait, what? There's a whole other like side of this? Like this, wait, I didn't even know this area existed. I didn't know I could like just go over here. What the heck? Wait, I didn't know that. I've been at this level for two hours, I know. I'm worried, I, I worry it's, it's uh, boring, but um, I probably shouldn't worry about stuff like that. Whoa. Oh, <laughs> oh, that was close. You can't get me that easily. Oh my god. Oh my god. I'm so close. I'm so close. I cannot fuck this up. I'm so close right now. 
Yeah! Let's fucking go! Let's fucking go! Let's we did it! Uh, that was a that was a strong that was a strong ten gamer uh gamer moves right there. The only white boy you know who did Thank it. Thank you. Period. Out there. <laughs> Every single time. Oh. <laughs> Wait, Skeleton Club. Thank you so much for the. Thank you for the five gift subs. <laughs> thank you, thank you, thank you. Another round of applause for Skeleton Club. Thank you for. Oh, holy shit. Thank you so much for, for the gift subs. I really appreciate it. What a, what a rush. I don't know why I got like so invested in that level. I guess I've been playing it for two hours, but my, my heart's beating like really fast right now for doing that. <laughs> Thank you. Oh, oh no. Okay. All right. Now, now I feel like the levels are gonna get a lot harder, or maybe not. Okay. What? 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 Okay. Well, I guess it couldn't. It couldn't be that easy. How do I do that? Oh, do I have to like... Wait, how do I do that? How do I do this? <laughs> I'm gonna need that big lettuce in the background. Yeah, there's some good like food in this game. Okay, I have a... Oh! Ooh, this level's gonna be interesting. What happens if I just, like, hang off of this? Do I just, like... Is it just gonna be there forever? Okay. Yeah, the nat the Napa cabbage does look really tasty. It looks like a. Uh, it reminds me of Cooking Mama a little bit. Just like pixelated ingredients. How do I get over there? Oh, there we go. Oh, ha 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 ha. Cooking Mama. That would be a really- Actually, you know what? That would be a really fun game to play. Like, the original Cooking Mama. Oh! Oh. How do I get him? Oh. Oh, where are you going? Okay. This boss sucks. Yeah, he like ran me off, like right off the edge. <sighs> well, you know what? Um, that boss seems hard. I want to end this on a good note because I, I that was like a really big achievement for me. So uh, I think I might end this stream there. Thanks so much, everybody, for stopping by. I'm not sure if I'm gonna play this game again. I might. Uh, this I might play this game on my own, but we'll see. It was it was kind of fun to play though. So shout out to uh, shout out to my patrons. Also, here are some links from the Discord. This Thursday, I'm not gonna be here. Uh, I have to like do I have to do like a bunch of work. Um, but I will be here on Sunday, and on Sunday I'm playing Sonic Adventure 2. 
So, and I love that game, so that'll be a lot of fun. That is a game I might play for like a while. Because I, I love Sonic Adventure 2 a lot. Um, who should we raid? Oh, uh. Let's, uh, let's go over to. Maybe Sloth. Uh, a v uh, Sloth VTuber who's really nice. Um, and they're making art right now. Let's go over there and see what they're up to. Alright, bye everybody. Say, give, give Hibby lots of love. Bye. Have a good day. Uh, stay safe. And, oh yeah, on Friday, uh, we're item label streaming on YouTube. Not on Twitch, on YouTube. <laughs> we're going to be announcing all the summer sports games. So, see you then. Bye. Bye-bye-bye-bye-bye. Bye. -bye, 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 -bye. Bye.